In today's video lecture, we are going to see an activity on how acids react with metals. But before that, uh, I would like you to know what are acids. Okay. So acids are the substances which are sore in taste. Okay. Acids are sore in taste. How do we know that a substance is acid? Acids are sore in taste. Then acids. If you take a litmus paper, that is an indicator and test uh, with an acid. That is suppose a substance is there which is an acid. Okay. And what are we doing? We are in this sub solution, we are dipping a litmus paper. Okay. So when we dip a blue litmus paper, it should turn red when we dip in this acidic solution. Okay. So always acids turn blue litmus to red. It means that whenever we take a blue litmus paper, it should turn the color to red. Then we can say that it is an acid. Then acids, they give H plus ions in aqueous solution. What do we mean by aqueous solution? Aqueous solution means a mixture of liquid. That is when we combine a solid and a liquid. That is called as aqueous solution. So whenever a solution, an aqueous solution is there, okay, and an acid is present inside it, we want to disassociate the ions. Then H plus ions are produced. I'll give you an example what I'm telling. Suppose HCl on decomposition will give me H plus and Cl minus. Ions are released here. H plus ions are released. That means this H plus ions indicate the presence of an acid. Okay. Similarly, I'll give you one more example. You have HNO3. Okay. The name of HNO3? Nitric acid. Okay. So HNO3 on or this decomposition or that is HNO3 on disassociation will give me H plus and NO3 minus ions. Again, here, if I observe, I am having H plus ions are induced. So remember, in an acid, H plus ions are induced in aqueous solution. So whenever H plus ions are produced in aqueous solution, we can say that substance is an acid. So HCl is an acid, HNO3 is an acid. Okay. These aqueous solutions, suppose if I connect this aqueous solution in an electric circuit. Suppose the same aqueous solution I'm having. Okay, I'll take a beaker and in that I'll pour an acid. Okay, I'll take two electrodes and I'll connect it with a wire and I'll connect it to the switch and a battery. Okay, what will happen? If I switch on this battery and start giving it voltage, this will conduct Okay, so what is the special feature of acid? Acids conduct in aqueous solution. That is, the electricity will be passing in an acid. Okay, so these were the few basic properties of acids. These were the physical properties. Physical properties means in which we can see a change in color or we can see a change in smell or we can see a change in size. We can see a change in its state. That is solid, liquid or gas. Okay, uh, so... Now, we'll perform an activity to know what is the chemical property of an acid. That is how acid reacts with metal. So, for that, uh, I would also want to ask you, what is a metal? Okay, a metal is, a, metal is a hard substance, okay, which is shiny. Okay, it is basically a solid. A metal is usually solid, okay. Uh, and it is a hard substance, okay, which is shiny, which is malleable. Malleable means it can be broken into sheets, okay, and it is also ductile. Ductile means it can be drawn into wires. That is any uh, substance which is hard, which is shiny, which, which can be broken into pieces or which can be drawn into wires. That substance is called as metal, okay. So, few examples of metals are... Iron is an example of metal. Aluminium is an example of metal. Okay, I'm writing the symbols F E A L. Then Zn, zinc is an example of metal. Cu, copper is an example of metal. Uh, gold, Au is an example of metal. Silver, Ag is an example of metal. Okay, similarly so many metals are there. Sodium is an example of metal. All these are metals. Okay, now why I gave you the example of this metal? Because what is our activity? Our activity is, we have to perform an activity to show reaction of acids with metals. So I gave you a clear explanation of what an acid is. And what a metal is. Okay. What is an acid? An acid is a substance which has all the physical properties which I have said you. And what is a metal? A metal is a hard, solid, 
shiny substance. The aim of this activity is we have to show the reaction of acids with metals. Okay, let it like how acids are reacting when we add metals to it. That is on the reactants we have acids and metals. Then what will you get on the product side? That we want to know. This activity is present in CBSE as well as SSE. This chapter is there in for both CBSE as well as SSE. That is acids, bases, and salts in class tenth. Now the materials required for this activity are we need a stand, okay, and the stand should have a holder, okay, for fixing a test tube. We need a holder. This is my holder. This is my stand, okay. Then we need a cork. Cork is uh, a cap. Cork is like a cap which is used for covering a test tube. Okay, then we require a test tube. Okay, and then we require HCl here. So, example of acid I said it is HCl. So, which acid we are using here to determine the reaction of acid with metal? We are using HCl gas here. So, inside the test tube, I am taking HCl gas, and also I am mixing zinc granules in it. What do you mean by zinc granules? Zinc pieces are nothing but zinc granules. You can see here these black color pieces are nothing but zinc. So, zinc granules means zinc pieces we are using. And what is zinc here? Zinc is a metal. So now, since we are taking a tube and inside the tube we are taking HCl, we are taking zinc granules. It means we are mixing acid and metal. Okay, now the activity is going to be very interesting. Continue watching. Then we need a delivery tube. Delivery tube means it is a tube which is used for uh, connecting things. Okay, and then we need a glass trough. Okay, and inside that we need soap water, and we also need a burning candle. Why do we need a burning candle? In order to test the presence of hydrogen, we need a burning candle. Because we know that hydrogen burns with a pop sound when a burning candle is brought near to it. That is the property of hydrogen. Pop sound means it will give a large sound. Okay, so these are the materials required. I hope you understood the materials. Now let us come to the procedure and let us come to the setup with this stand, with this cork, with this test tube, with this HCl, with this zinc granules, with this delivery tube, with this burning cam candle, with this glass trough. How are we going to make our setup, which I have made with the following uh, uh, materials? Okay. That is, I said we need a stand, so we are connecting a stand, and to the holder we are attaching a test tube. And I said that inside the test tube we took HCl and we took zinc granules inside the HCl solution, acid and metal. Now we have covered the test tube with a cork, okay, and then we are connecting a delivery tube inside the cork, okay. We are making a hole inside the cork, and through the hole we are connecting a delivery tube through the soap water which is present in the glass trough. Okay. Initially you won't bring a candle, okay. Uh, how this uh, bubbles will arise, I'll tell you. So this is the setup, okay. And why is the setup done? We test the hydrogen gas, okay. We test whether hydrogen gas is produced when an acid reacts with metal or not. This is my procedure. What I'm doing is I'm setting the apparatus as you can see here in this figure. This is my apparatus, okay. Then I'm taking about 10 ml of dilute HCl in a test tube and adding a few zinc granules to it, which we have already done it. Now when we add these both. We will observe that gas bubbles are formed on the surface of zinc granules. Okay, already when we mix acid, this HCl with zinc granules, we observe that when we mix this HCl with zinc granules, we observe that gas bubbles are formed on the surface of zinc granules. Now what we are doing is we are passing this gas. Which gas? Whatever gas is formed. I said right. The gas bubbles are formed on the zinc granules. Now this gas we are passing through soap water. How are we passing this gas through the soap water? Like this. See here, you can ob observe bu bubbles are formed. Right? These are bubbles. So whenever we mix acid HCl with zinc granules, bubbles are formed. Now this gas bubbles, I want to uh, transport it. How can I transport this gas bubbles? I will connect a delivery tube. Okay, and I will pass this gas. Being evolved through the soap water, so these gas bubbles will travel through the delivery tube, okay? And we can observe that these gas bubbles are traveling through the delivery tube, and again they are formed here, right? They travel through the gas bubbles, they travel through the delivery solution, and again from outside, uh, outside the outlet of the delivery tube, they are formed here, okay? Now these gas bubbles they will go in uh, outside uh, to the air, they will travel to the air. From this outlet, they are traveling to the air because outside this gas trap there is nothing but air, right? We know air is present everywhere, so air will also be present here outside this delivery tube, right? So the gas travels, the gas bubbles travels through the air, and now what we are doing is we are bringing a burning candle, okay? Burning candle means we are lighting the candle and we are bringing 
the burning candle near this delivery tube so when we bring a burning candle near the delivery tube we will observe that the gas burns with a pop sound pop sound means it will make a huge sound when you bring this burning candle near this delivery tube which is burning with uh, gas bubbles what we can see is we can uh, see only gas bubbles so when we bring this burning candle near the gas bubbles it will burn in the huge sound so that huge sound is indicating that hydrogen gas is evolved when an acid reacts with zinc that is when hcl reacts with zinc a hydrogen is produced so what is hcl hcl is acid what is zinc zinc is metal okay and so this is our observation one is that when we bring this burning candle near the bubble uh, near this gas bubbles it burns with a pop sound and that pop sound indicates the presence of hydrogen so this is our result that is what happens when acid is reacted with zinc so i'll give you a chemical reaction also for that what will happen see from this experiment we got to know that acid reacts with metal to form salt plus hydrogen obviously when two things are reacting together they will form product i said in my chemical reactions video right so what is an acid we are observing here hcl and what is a metal we are observing here zn the symbol of zinc is zn and what is a salt being formed see what will happen here this hcl will be, will be splitted when zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid so when it splits this zinc combines with chlorine to form zinc chloride and the formula of zinc chloride is zncl2 which is aqueous in nature why aqueous in nature because when these two things mix together they form an aqueous solution so zncl2 is formed and zncl2 is nothing but a salt okay and along with that we saw that hydrogen is produced because we know that the gas burns with a pop sound that indicates the presence of hydrogen okay so this hydrogen was in our this uh, zn is combining with cl to form zncl2 and also this hydrogen is left on the reactant side so that hydrogen is this h2 since it is h2 here we have two hydrogens on the product side but we don't have two hydrogens on the reactant side see the reaction will be like this i'll show you plus zn giving rise to zncl2 plus h2 this is the reaction which will you get the acid plus metal gives salt plus hydrogen okay but the reaction is not balanced because here we have two hydrogens on the product side but here we have only one hydrogen uh, and on the reactant side so what we can do we can write a two beside the coefficient of hcl so it will become 2 hcl okay so this is my balanced reaction so i hope you understood how, what will happen when an acid reacts with metal that is it gives salt plus hydrogen so this is also one chemical property of an acid that is when acid reacts with metal it gives salt plus hydrogen you can take any acid and test you can take nitric acid you can take sulfuric acid and you can take any other metal also like aluminum or copper any metal you can take and you can mix both and you can observe that it will form a salt and hydrogen always okay so this activity indicates that hydrogen gas is released when an acid reacts with metal thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you are new and do share the video with your friends